Welcome back everybody, Kathy Arbor here. And today is gonna be mixed media. And I'm kind of going with the same <laughs> um, subject matter this month as Mermaid. And uh, well, I think I'm gonna probably do something a little different, but <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Um, this is what I did on Tuesday. So it was a very simple illustration and with gouache and watercolor. And this one is a beginner friendly one. And I explain how you can take any kind of figure um, from a magazine, trace it and make your own illustration. So if you want to check that out, that was last Tuesday. And then last week we did these awesome little fish characters and we might be using these again. We'll see. Um, I am going to use some stencils and this is the paper uh, pack that I will be using in today's um, painting. And I've picked out this one mermaid so this is going to go in my journal my file folder art journal so I'm only going to be using hmm, three quarters of it I guess I like using my scrapbook paper as backgrounds when I can find the right one um, you can always add stuff to your backgrounds too, but I thought this would be really cool uh, for this one thing I want to do. So, I guess I could do it this way. So I get most of her in there. Yeah. That should work. All right, I'm just gonna draw a line down using this file folder. And this will be where I'll cut to. Hey, Dot, good to see you. And I will be gluing this onto this file folder afterwards. It's a beautiful, warm, sunny day here. It's actually too warm. I know I never, I'm never happy, but it's too much all at once for the plants. And we haven't had any rain in 10 days. So things are getting a little scorched. It's supposed to get rain on the weekend, we hope. All right, so this is where what I'm going to be doing. So that, that's basically uh, how far I'm going to be going and I'm going to paint also on top of this but I'm going to try and save this bottom part. Hey Tori, good to see you. So I thought this would be uh, kind of fun and I can always put this border they have on this side too. I could actually cut this border and glue it back on. That's no problem. So, the idea was Gone Fishing, <laughs> as the title says. And I saw on Pinterest this cute little uh, little boy fishing and his feet is in the, in the water. He's on a dock with his fishing line on. So I thought it'd be cute just to do the bottom part of his feet and then um, see the hook in the water below so um, just part of his uh, knees would be up here and then you could see his feet down here and then uh, <laughs> a little fish looking at the uh, the line with the bait on it I thought that would be kind of cute 
So we'll have to draw it out. So um, I think I got, uh, if you have a charcoal or um, Prisma, or not Prisma, um, a pastel pencil would be ideal. I think I might have one in here somewhere. And then you can just erase it. Yes, here we go. So a white one. This is a white uh, charcoal by Generals. So I want eh, probably a wavy water like that. And then um, I'm not sure how far. I don't want to cover her up. So I think, and it's kind of hard to paint around her, but I could. I guess I could. Um, let's see what we can do. So his pants would be rolled up. Um, let's see. Let's put his legs in first. See how big we want them. Little ankles. I guess we could put him put it behind here. That way we don't have to draw the toes. And the other one would be about here, I guess. Maybe a little longer. there. right size. That one can be lifted up a little bit. So it's pointing towards you a little bit. Or this one can be hmm, downwards um, I think I need to bring this out a little bit yeah More like that, I guess. His knees would be up here. So his pants would be... rolled up. Like 
that. And we'll just put his knee up there, top part of his knee. So it'll be a little folds in his. And then let's see, we'll have the line coming down and let's see we have a three hook like that and then a nice big juicy worm on there <laughs> no. Sorry. And I'm just going to bring this right up. And then we can have, now we could make our own fish, or we could have these guys <laughs> in here too could cut them and or we could make some funny looking fish with uh, human heads <laughs> looking at it like what we could actually cover her a bit we'll see and then some leaves and whatever Okay, so we're just going to use uh, acrylic paint. So I've got a palette here. And I just use these coffee lids. Um, I don't mind the dark lid. Some people uh, prefer a, a light color or a gray. Um, you do whatever is right for you. I've been doing this for <laughs> a number of years, so I'm used to this. So that's what I'm going to use. So we want some skin tone. So um, some flesh color. I'm just going to be using my um, acrylic paint, uh, craft paint, and a blue for his blue jeans. Let's see, what do I want to use? Blue ribbon, I think will work. And maybe a black. Let's see. Haynes gray, maybe. And we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the fish. And then some watercolor. So I'm gonna use maybe a little bit of this color in the uh, top part. So Something like that. Just hold on.
had a delivery. My dog doorbells <laughs> always let me know. Uh, white, too. I have some white here. Okay. So, we'll do the um, feet first. So, I have some medium flesh, Santa's flesh, and then there's highlight flesh. But I think I might need some a little bit of a darker brown or darker flesh color. Cayenne would probably work. And then I think this is going to be fun. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to use a filbert. Not too big because uh, it's a fairly small area I'm working in. Let's see what I got here. There it is. All right, so just a number eight filbert. Paper towel. Thought you ha had gone to see the bird. <laughs> So we'll put in, this is kind of a medium color. So we'll put this in first. <clears throat> so. I want it fairly thick. So this is going with the same subject matter as I did last week, which is mermaids and that type of thing. Underwater. So you never know what's under the water. What's under the dock? <laughs> Could be a mermaid hiding in there. I thought this was cute. And it is spring time for fishing to start. I know my son and my grandson are excited. Start doing that again. around her arm or hand and it's just a silhouette so you could actually paint through this and then just paint the silhouette back in if you wanted to so if you want to do something similar to this but you don't have this paper line just find something that's uh, Got the purple, a little bit of aqua color in it. You can make bubbles easily. So you can make your own background. Very simple. And just find, uh, go on Google and find silhouette, mermaid silhouette. That's all it is. I just thought it would be fun to use this paper up. So why not? Let's so cover that in a little bit more. Want it? Fairly thick. 
too much as far as streaks. Hey, Kim. Maybe the uh, mermaid's warning the fish not to, to go after that. <laughs> Um, I guess we could do the, jeans too. I don't want them sitting on a dock, I think. I don't have a whole lot in here, so. A goopy starting to go so maybe we'll use it up and I'm just gonna put a base coat on this and then we'll put the shadows and highlights on later this one's not the best because it's starting to go bad it starts getting clumpy, you know, it's not the best. Okay, like that, and then let's see. Other paint here. Uh, let's see what I got here. This might do better. It's uh Blue. Yeah, it's a little almost the same color. Good enough. And then I have some um, Wedgwood blue also. It's a little darker. Could actually use um, Payne's gray too. It's more or less on the on the uh, blue side, but I'm gonna do this part up here just a little darker so I can kind of see the difference around the uh, pants. We'll put some highlights and shadows in also. Darker, let's so get some paints gray, I think. And the shadows. Right in here. I'm just mixing it while it's wet. Because it'll be a little bit streaky. And you do that and then it kind of looks more like clothes. So I'm going to have a little bit of a Shadow in there, shadow in the jeans.
darker in there. Where he's sitting, the darkest area. And a little bit more up here, I think. Remember, this is where his knee is up here. He's so got his, his leg up a little bit, so it will give it a little bit of a shadow cast. I'm going to put a little bit of this in here just to get some little bubbles off. And top part of his knee. Just playing with some of the colors. And then a little bit of a lighter color. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of white. Put some white on my... With the... Hmm, I guess that... This color here. It's a little bit of that... whiter color for the real highlights. You don't have to have a lot, but it is kind of the whitest part. Depending on how the uh, pants are laying. You can always go back and touch up things too. lighter right on the very top where the knee would be. And nice and dark right under here. Okay. All right. 
now, why a little dimension to the legs. Let's use some of this cayenne. Maybe I might have to use a little bit of uh, either umber color. Oh, I could use Payne's Gray under the water, though. We'll see. We're gonna mix a little Payne's Gray with this. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that might work. All right, so shadows underneath. This is very impressionistic too. Like it's not a, it's not going to be a smooth looking um, skin tone. this out a little bit and the top of this toe and I want the underneath to be fairly dark like that and just a bit of this We'll fix this up. Sometimes when you're doing this, especially um, using um, doing faces, it's you have a really ugly looking stage. So don't get discouraged. fun doing it with in acrylics I find anyways because you can um, repaint stuff you don't have to worry whether it was you know a one-time application you can play with it little toes Will be darker because it's further down in the water. I'm just adding some um, blue to this to make it darker. I want that area to be fairly dark. And right in here, that fairly dark too. I know they look kind of yucky, but you'll see, <laughs> it gets better. And then you just go back into your other colors, the skin tone. You just have to pay attention to what your reference is going to be. 
Um, a little bit of toes here. I don't think that's right. Put a little bit on there. Where his nail's going to be. And on here. This one's going to be a little darker because it's kind of pointing towards you. So you're going to have a little bit more And I think I'm going to put a little bit more blue in that darker color here I made up under his, well, I think I need it darker even more. So maybe some um, Payne's Gray. Just mix, I want a fairly dark area in there. suggest that the shadow there's little toes here they can be a little darker and we're gonna put water in here so I'm not getting too fussy about it really Sandra, good to see you. We're doing a mermaid protecting the fish because he's fishing. And she's trying to, I'm going to put fish in here <laughs> to warn, she's warning them. Uh, let's see. I want a dock also. So he'll be sitting on a dock. I think I'll do it in um, mudstone with a bit of Payne's gray or brown, but a mix, kind of streaky. So I'm just going to dip my uh, brush in both. And then the dock would be kind of right here. A little bit darker on the bottom part here. And I'm going to put a, a line, kind of a highlight line, separating so it looks um, 
right about here. So it shows that it's the edge. Then you can let that dry and then we'll come back. And I guess I better put that one over here too. There. And then um, we'll use some other color on top to make it a little darker. That's good for now. All right. So a little bit more highlight. I'm gonna take. Let's see which is the lightest. Probably this one. Or I could take just white with that flash color. Just make a lighter color. A little bit of. Um, some of it off my brush. The tops of this foot. Get some of this off. There. All right. Now the I'm gonna take a smaller brush, a liner brush, and I'm gonna put the toes in. So I think I'm just going to use this um, Payne's Gray mix with that cinnamon color. It's, it's a fairly uh, good color. So, so the toenail on this one, um, I could need more water. It'd be about there. And more separate some of these toes. A little darker on the edge there. This one's a little bit different. Um, it's facing you more, so you're going to be up higher, and it's curved the opposite direction. You don't see um, all of the toes, so I only have a few in there, so we'll go like that. 
I think these need to be up her a little higher though. Like that. And a little bit dark around this part here, I think. Oop, too much water. And you can get as detailed as you want on the toes. Look at the shadows, how the, in between the toes, it's um, got a little bit of a shadow in a V shape. You can put that in. a little bit of highlight maybe on the toenail but not quite as and um, maybe just a dab that uh, his feet kind of look small to me oh well it is what it is <laughs> All right, so the um, to make it look like he, underneath the water, I'm going to use some white and the aqua color. Uh, we'll see. We'll try this. Might not work. It's about that color, and the line goes across his legs like this, and up. So just put a little bit of dry brush, it's not that and then a little bit of white on your brush do the same thing dry brushed and you can even put um, a little bit of that Paints gray in there too. Be um, a little bit of shadow in the water. The water does have a shadow. That, and then with a bigger brush. Take the same and then just stripe it down. This is a dry brush. I just put some paint on it. Not a lot. Don't do a lot, but there is you want a little bit. And just along that one line, the one part, don't go down too far.
Okay. And then uh, we could leave it like this, or if you want a really, um, let's see what I got here. To put a little bit of a blue tinge on his feet, you could take, um, I would take a little bit of, let's see. I got a, water, a lot of water on my brush. And now I think I'm going to have to do a darker color. Just a little bit of um, Payne's Gray. Just to color his feet up a bit. So it's not the same color as the um, top part. Okay, then we're going to do the, um, <laughs> these guys. Now, I could take these and put them on there, or we could make some, fairly, oh, let's see, um, orange, maybe. Yeah, blue, orange, blue. You can make them all different colors. Let's do some orange fish. This is a fairly big brush. So we want them kind of looking at the... Um, bait. Kind of watery. I want it fairly thick. Let's see. Might have to. Maybe I should do it in gouache. Or I'll do it white first and then do it over top. Maybe that'll work. And that one and a aqua colored one, sure. And maybe a green one. Let's see. Do we have green out here? No. Okay, lemonade green. guy over here I guess. Let's cross over the Okay we'll dry these guys and then we'll use some Poscas too. So let's give, give these guys a little, some fins. Mm. 
cover them in a little more. And a little like that. Blue one. Oh, it'll go past the area that's going to be cut, but that's okay. And then Little fin and an orange one. The white. Color him in a little more now. A lot of times your um, reds, yellow, um, oranges, they're very um, transparent. So a lot of times you have to go back. Don't do what, Dot? <laughs> All right. Um, oh, maybe I'll use a... No, 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 I'll use this. So the hook... You could use a Posca to do this if you want. Don't put those monster things on there was what I meant. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, Poscas. Let's see. I want a worm. So let's get a brown. Hey, Lori. That's fun. Gotta put a wormy. In there. And what other color? White. Um, let's see if this is big enough. I want to. I want their eyes to be really big. So let's see if I can. I know I got a Q-tip. Somewhere. 
Mm, it's pretty big, but let's put um, big, big eyes. Like, ooh. <laughs> this looks yummy. That's just with the stopper lid. <laughs> Improvise if you don't, if you can't find stuff. Okay, so we got that in there. And then, let's see, a white, probably colored pencil, maybe. So we have our fishing line. Up like that, actually. Well, I can lean over that, I guess. Some of that. We don't want to see that line much. It's supposed to look like it's underwater. Okay, we have some highlight on the hook. Well, I can do it with my colored pencil. This makes it a little easier on the top of the hook. And top of the barbs. And if you see any there. And a little uh, dry the uh, worm and then we'll put some highlights on the worm. <laughs> That's true, Lori. <laughs> You're still going. Let's put a little bit of shadow on these fish. So a little bit more of a true orange color. We'll do um, give them a little bit of depth. Might need a little bit of red maybe in this. Don't think it's quite dark enough. Let's try the sienna color. It's a little better, but yeah, I think I need a little bit, bit darker. Get some brick, I think it is. No, her yeah, heritage brick. I'll mix it with a little bit of that orange. It's just a little bit darker. Come under his belly. that and a little bit under his right there we're gonna give him a little mouth probably use some more Posca
a little bit on here. And then a little bit of a lighter color. So we'll mix a little bit of that orange with some white just at the top here. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow to brighten it up. A dab. Oh, just a minute. <laughs> just going to blend this in a little bit edge here yeah, that's good enough Now I'm going to do it. I was going to make the expression in his face, but. Uh oh. Why isn't my. Oh, shoot. Just a minute, guys. I forgot I did not plug my thing in. My power is going. I didn't have my cord. Let's see, hopefully this works. Oh, 
forgot I had given my son my adapter for the, <laughs> the for the charger and I forgot I didn't have it while online. Yeah. All right, so let's finish this one up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Payne's gray with this blue for the blue fish for the um, shadows. Make it darker. Uh, why is it? Oh, it's not registering. You know what, guys? I'm going to probably go. <laughs> This cord, the new one I have, isn't working. Oh no! I'm gonna go dead in six. I only got 16% left. So I'm gonna have to do this quick and then post it. Shoot. I gave mine because my, from this computer. I have two computers. But the one that I have for the other computer doesn't work on this computer, apparently. So, I'm going to have to cut it early. Good thing it wasn't a long video. So, I will post. <laughs> but you get the gist of it. I'll probably darken her. Yeah, I know. Try to help somebody and I totally forgot. Darn. Oh, well. So I will uh, post it on Instagram, the finished result. And then um, we'll see you next Tuesday. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. And um, get out there and do some gardening or create something in your journal. Have a good one, everyone. Bye for now.